Hey guys, Blazin here. Welcome to my analysis on the T50 DERH. But I'm going to call it the concussion rifle throughout the rest of this video for simplicity's sake. Uh, I'm not going to keep calling its designation name over and over again like I did with the plasma repeater. The concussion rifle is a Covenant infantry weapon that fires explosive plasma bolts. A form of munition similar in nature to the plasma mortars employed on the heavier vehicles of the Covenant, such as the Revenant and Wraith. The weapon is fed by a disposable magazine cell, as opposed to the batteries common in the other Covenant directed energy weapons, thus requiring a conventional reload. When fired, the explosive plasma bolts are launched in a projectile arc, similar to that of the aforementioned heavy plasma mortars, though Covenant forces are typically reluctant to include the concussion rifle in a similar category. The concussion rifle's design legacy can be traced back to the eponymous ancient elite warlord Nakata Z Zedum? Zedum? Whatever. Who was able to perfect the operating principles of the weapon during the Siege of Kikost. This design predated even the signing of the Rift of Union, and was later modified over the Empire's long history. Unusually by Covenant standards, the merchants of Kikos were able to protect the concussion rifle's design patterns from external profit weapon crafter influence, allowing the weapon to be modified to fit the Covenant standardization principles, but restricting its manufacture to only assembly forges controlled by the merchants themselves on Kikos. Despite the modifications that have been made to the weapon over time, the core purpose and functions have remained unchanged. Due to its introduction prior to the formation of the Covenant, the concussion rifle has been a mainstay weapon for the entirety of the Empire's history, going up to its final days in 2552, in which it was heavily employed during the fall of Reach. The weapon's size and power dictated that it may only be employed by high-ranking personnel, such as zealots and generals, something even noted by United Nations Space Command forces. The weapon was additionally employed by brute shock troopers. Personnel who were to use the concussion rifle were trained in specific battlefield tactics for the weapon's usage. Trademarks are kind of all over the place on this gun, so I'll just pan through and point them out. When it comes to features, there isn't a lot to talk about other than the shitty fishtail stock and the latch opens at the top to load in a new cylinder mag. The concussion rifle holds 6 rounds in the mag plus 24 extra spare rounds. The fire rate I got was 175 rounds per minute. Reload speed I got was 2.12 seconds. Max effective range I got was 23.08 meters. Moving on to damage output, it takes two shots to break shields and one shot to health, totaling three shots to kill. First strike. The TTK of this gun is point twenty seven seconds.
and that's the concussion rifle. Overall, I think it's just alright. It's kind of underrated, but not as underrated as the focus rifle. This gun has a bit of a learning curve to it in order to be effective with it. What I mean by that is, each time you shoot your opponent, they're going to bounce all over the place because this gun has insane knockback. So you're going to have to take this into account each time you shoot your opponent. Once you start getting used to that though, this gun can be extremely deadly in the right hands. And that's it for this gun. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Subscribe if you enjoy the content on this channel. And let me know your thoughts on the Halo Reach Concussion Rifle in the comments below. And until next time, peace.